How's it going guys? The little mountain of 18650s are done. These are all INR 18650-15M Samsung cells. All tested and rated and put in there. I've decided I'm going to stop the test now at 10.4 volts because I believe the inverter will shut off somewhere down near there and under load it probably definitely will. We've got 44.2 amp hour, but that doesn't mean anything until we work it back to watt hours. 44.2 times 12, about 530. So about half a kilowatt hour roughly. So we'll go ahead and stop the discharge now. We don't need that anymore. And that can be charged back up and uh, put in its toolbox. Alright, so we're going to use the lab power supply to charge it back up. And they're going to go fairly light on it. No, we might go two amps. Just kind of keep the heat out of the power supply at the same time. They don't have the best cooling, even though this one's been improved. So once that's all charged up, we will go ahead and mount it in this. Toolbox. It's made so it'll fit across it. And uh, once it's in there, we will surface mount a power point on the outside. So it can be left shut and uh, operated. And the little old 600 continuous 1200 peak little power invert, a little modified sign. Beast will get put in. Um, nothing real special and exciting about this. What is a little bit more special and exciting is I have got a. So the charge control. I'm going to make a little power wall anyway, but I'm also going to make it so I can plug this into the power wall, into the um, toolbox pack, and charge the toolbox pack. Now it's rated at 20 amps supposedly. It might go up in smoke, but it was very cheap, so I'm not not holding my breath. I do only have a 40 watt solar panel to use at the moment, but I might be borrowing a 250. We'll see what happens, see how that pans out. One thing that's cool about it, it's got a 3 amp USB output, which runs off a 12 volt battery supply. And uh, you can set the high limit and the low limit of the uh, of the charge. So I'll have a play with that in another video. But uh, in the meantime, we'll leave that to charge up. And once that's stopped absorbing charge, we'll run the... Uh, let's do that now, actually. Let's run the meter over it now and see what they're like for balance. And uh, we'll do it again once it's charged. Sorry about the fan noise, guys. I'll have to get you in a tripod so you can watch the meter. We'll uh, start at the bottom left and work our way up. Bottom left, 3.526. Cable on there, be good. 2.5 flat. 2.512. So I'm not really worried about that. We'll let that have its charge up. And uh, once it's charged up, we'll check them again. That's set to 12.6. And uh, we'll see how balanced they are. Found that. <laughs> if we have to charge it that way with balance leads, we will. But I prefer not to. Alright guys, thanks heaps for watching. Um, I'm going to a sneak peek at a video that will be coming after this one. All my uh, little one cell power banks. It's an item putting 10 of them on a board all together. Thanks for watching guys. Catch us on the next one. Thanks for subbing. Cheers.